Hi, the objective of this video is to understand the basic concepts um, uh, linked with the coupled differential equation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first introduce you the concept. What exactly is a coupled differential equation and why do we call it as a coupled differential equation? And then I'm going to demonstrate how do we solve a system of coupled uh, linear differential equation. So let's get started. So when you talk about the coupled differential equation, now, first thing I want to just quickly give you is a brief idea. Assume this is a tree trunk. Let's say this is a section of the tree trunk and there are fungi growing on the uh, tree trunk. Now what happened is that the, if the growth of this fungi, if the growth of this fungi G1 and growth of this fungi G2, they are dependent on each other. So maybe like you can talk in terms of like, okay, initially they started growing, but now this um, draws the nutrition from this and vice versa. So what happened is that when you talk about the growth of one of them is actually affected by the growth of the other. So basically, if I look at the dx by dt and dy by dt, let's say they are having the growth factors of individual of them. How much nutrition does this have? Or for that matter, it is creating a balanced system, okay? So, so what might happen is that as per definition, now when you say that the growth of one depend on the growth of others and um, uh, vice versa, this is a system of differential equation that is called as coupled system because the rate of growth of X is actually affected by both X and Y. So let's say rate of growth of this one is getting affected by how much, how much growth of already this has happened and vice versa. So, so let us let us just get started with uh, the, the, the demonstration of the solution of this. So now let us see. Uh, now for this topic, you, you should have a brief idea about the eigenvalues and eigenvectors in, in advance. So now I have covered eigenvalue and eigenvector, how to find out in my previous segment, but I just quickly wanted to uh, a brief about how do you find out the solution. Now, when you um, are writing this, there are some key terms that you got to understand. So lots of times you say X dot or um, uh, Y dot here, it is gonna represent straight away DX by DT and DY by DT. So rate of growth of X with respect to time and rate of growth of Y with respect to time. And um, so this system of equation, if you guys understand, this is X dot and Y dot can be represented as the matrix M times X and Y because, and, and here M is nothing but A, B, C, and D. You can clearly verify using the simple matrix multiplication logic that if I multiply this times this, I get AX plus BY. And if I multiply this times this, I get CX plus DY. So, so this is the simple logic. Now the question is, how do you find out the general solution of this? All right, now uh, you got to have idea about eigenvalues and, and eigenvector. I, I, I repeat because this is something that you, uh, you won't be able to do without this concept being clear. So uh, what's the general solution? So in case, uh, if uh, the uh, linear coupled differential equation is of this format, the solution for X and Y actually is, um, uh, a times e to the power lambda uh, one times t times p one plus b e to the power lambda two t two uh, t times p two. Now, what is uh, actually each term? A and b are arbitrary constants. Okay, that can be determined with the conditions that they have been given in the problem. Now, lambda one and lambda two are the corresponding eigenvalues for the matrix M. This matrix. So for this lambda one and lambda two are the corresponding uh, eigenvalues and their corresponding vectors, so let's say P1 and P2, that's the, that's the general solution for the eigenvectors. Now, so, so if my equation is of this format, my general solution is given by um, XY is equals to uh, A, E to the power, A I can say E to the power lambda one times T and times P1 plus B e to the power lambda two T times P2. So this is the general equation. 
Now, why does this come? Why it is true? I'm going to do after I do an example. So you understand first what's the procedure, and then we understand how does the solution verify this particular equation. So let's get started with the solve example. Now let's say I have to solve this equation. dx by dt is x plus 2y, and dy by dt is 2x plus y. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to write down dx by dt, dy by dt in the matrix form, which is also x dash, x dot, and y dot here equals to uh, 1, 2, 2, 1, x and y. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out the eigenvalues for this matrix. So 1, 2, 2, 1. Now, just in case if you don't know how to find out eigenvalues and eigenvectors, we just did in our, in our previous video that if there is a matrix M and you multiply with the eigenvector X here, eigenvector X, and if it gives you the uh, a multi scalar multiple, the, which is this is eigenvalue times uh, the eigenvector. So this, this is the condition. And if I bring it one side, the matrix M minus lambda uh, times I, you can see here, X equals to zero. Now this is the eigenvector and this is a lambda is the eigenvalue. So this X and this X that I'm finding out here, solution is different. So uh, first let's just do quickly, what is the logic of uh, eigenvalue now here? So when I get this, I can simply do one, two, two, one minus lambda times I, which is one, zero, or zero, one equals to uh, zero. I'm just gonna simply do this because it is xy here after this, but it doesn't make a sense. It doesn't make a difference here. So you just simply do um, the determinant of this. If you simplify this and take the determinant of this. So determinant of this you're gonna do. So one uh, minus, uh, so here what we get is one minus lambda, two minus zero, which is two. So two um, minus, and then this is one minus lambda. So this determinant of this should be equated to zero in order to find out the eigenvalues. So, so you can see that if your matrix is this, actually you can just simply do uh, whatever is this number. So in case if your matrix is A, B, C, D, to find out the eigenvalues, what you do is just you do A minus lambda, B, C, and D minus lambda, and equate to determinant equate to zero. Now, how do you find determinant? A, D minus B, C. So you do this minus this. So I, if I do that, I get one minus lambda square minus four square equals to zero. So I get is one, this is two square. Uh, so one minus lambda square is uh, four. So you get um, the value of one minus lambda is plus minus two. So the value of lambda is either negative one or three. So these are the two eigen values. Now, how do I get the eigenvectors? So to get the eigenvectors, uh, let us just substitute these values in the, in the uh, characteristic equation, which is here. So, so let's get started with that. So when I substitute this lambda as negative one, what I get is uh, m times lambda times i times x equals to zero. This is the, this is the characteristic matrix. I mean, the characteristic matrix relation. So what we got is uh, one um, minus uh, lambda is, so I'll just quickly write on the matrix, one, two, two, one, minus lambda is, if I take negative one here, so negative one times i, one, zero, zero, one, times x, y here, actually x is nothing but x, y, just remember that, this is uh, equals to zero. So when you do that here, um, this is actually x is a vector, so when, when they say x, it is actually representing x and y. When they say x dash, it is x dot, it is means dx by dt and dy by dt. So don't get confused with this. So now what we do is I'm finding the eigenvector for this. So what you get is one uh, minus and minus become plus. So one minus one is actually zero. Uh, this is actually plus, so it'll become one plus one, actually two. And then two, here it is two. Then once again, here you get two, and then you will get one plus one, which is two. So X and Y is zero. So if you now just quickly do this, so two X plus two Y, if you multiply this, run and dive, run and dive. So two X plus two Y is zero. Now the interesting thing is that how do you get the vector from here? 
So if I do this, y is negative x. And if I take x as t, I get y is negative t. So what I get is the eigenvector for this is actually one and negative one. So this is the, this is the eigenvector for this corresponding problem. So I'm just gonna write down the eigenvalue, which is lambda is negative one, lambda is negative one and corresponding vector is one, negative one. Now let's, let's do the same thing for lambda being three. So when I do that here, if I put three here, what I get is one minus three is actually negative two here and two minus zero, which is two. And um, then you get two minus zero. Once again, it is two and you get three, uh, one minus three, which is negative three. One minus three is negative two. So X times X Y equals to zero. So if you multiply it, it's gonna get negative two X plus two Y zero. So you get Y equals to positive X. And if I take X is T, Y is T. So you get the eigenvector for this lambda equals to three as one and one. So when you're writing now the general solution, so I'm just gonna quickly write down for lambda is three, my eigenvector is one and one. Now let's write on the general solution for this set of equation. So now when you write on the general solution here in this case, the values are gonna be, this general solution is gonna be my x dash, which is, uh, which is, let's say, sorry, x is equals to, that is x, y equals to. Uh, I'm gonna write down first is the constant a e to the power lambda one, which is negative one times t and times the vector, which is uh, one and negative one plus. Um, second is p e to the power three t and one and one. So actually what happened is that when you draw vector one and negative one and one and one, the solutions of this equation that you saw here will be along this. So that I'm gonna cover up when I'm covering up the four pa uh, phase four trace. So I hope you understood how to find out the general solution. I repeat again the steps here. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write down the matrix that has been given to you in the, uh, the solution that you've been given the differential equation in form of the matrix times uh, X you find the eigenvalues and eigenvector for M, uh, that's let's say lambda one and lambda two, find the corresponding eigenvectors uh, vectors that is P1 and P2. So your general solution will be X equals to A e to the power lambda one times T times P1 plus B e to the power lambda two T times P2, where P1 and P2 are the corresponding eigenvectors for eigenvalues, lambda one and lambda two. So I hope this is helpful and I'm gonna take one more problem on this in the next video.